Yo, what's good, y'all? Back with another uh, Baruch build. I think this is like my third or fourth one. I had to make a new one because uh, Deed keeps patching my builds. So in the last build, uh, we utilized the fact that we can get negative combo, so I can use my melee's combo meter to build up for the Desert Wind instead of using Desert Wind's combo and uh, they patched it so now every time you do that and then you accidentally hit an enemy with your desert wind it'll just use the combo for your desert wind and get rid of all your red crits so I have made a different build and this build is a lot more consistent uh, like the other builds it's still it's still usable so if you have that build there's no need to switch to this one this one just does a lot more damage and is a lot more consistent but the other build you do get more energy, and I, th I think you could probably survive a bit better with the other build, but this build uh, is just a little bit better. So pretty much the way you'd go about building Baruch is you pretty much want to go for just a ton of strength, somewhere around 300. Don't go too much above 300, because if you do, you're starting to get diminished returns, and uh, pretty much it's not going to be like the best bang for your buck. So anything around 300, you could be like 295. 305 just make sure it's around 300 and the main difference between this build and the other build because there's not too many differences the main difference is instead of using nourish which would give you more energy and more damage we are switching it for mags pull ability pretty much the way you'd want to go about using mags pull is you would just pull it down and then start smacking them face on with your serene storm like you want to get inside that pile and start smacking them and once you do that, your combo should be building up. But there's a lot more that goes into it. We're going to get into that right now. So yeah, the main thing that's going to help you build combo the fastest and keep it is actually going to be your companion. The companion you're going to want to use is the Panzer Volpophila. Best companion in the game. If you don't have it, I suggest you get it. It's not just good for Brook. It's good for almost everybody. So if you don't have it, uh, go to Deimos, uh, shoot a couple fucking animals get a panzer with Phyla, and then come back to this video but <clears throat> so pretty much uh, I'm going to just show you the build there's only a few key mods that you want one of them being Tenacious Bond with Tenacious Bond if your companions crit chance is over 50% it's going to give you a final crit damage multiplier on top of what you already have on your build so really to do that you had to get your Vulvophyla's crit damage over 50% and there's two ways to do that you could either do that with one uh, bite the bite mod which is probably the best option but if you don't have that I know most people don't have that I personally don't have it so you could also use hunter synergy but if you're using hunter synergy just remember that you actually have to have a good primary equipped that will allow you to get over 50 percent all right now with these next two mods swipe and tandem bond if you use these two mods in tandem ah yeah you see what I did there yeah yeah so if you use these two mods together pretty much your companion is gonna build your combo almost for you pretty much. He's, he's gonna maintain every time he hits your combo multiplier goes back up. So he's gonna help you maintain your combo which is really really good. Oh and on top of that to help maintain your combo the school tree we'll be using is Narmon. Really the only thing you want from Narmon is power spike. It's gonna make it so that uh, your combo meter will slowly deplete over time and it won't just fully just disappear once the bar goes all the way down which is gonna help you a lot with maintaining your combo so pretty much once you got these two things working in tandem ah yeah did it again so yeah once you got two these uh, the, fuck once you got these two things working together uh, you're not gonna like ever go below 11 uh, 11 times alright now one last key mod for the Volpophila it's called synth deconstruct so pretty much every time your companion will hit an enemy it has they have a chance to drop a health orb which this combined with using equilibrium basically makes for like a a, a bootleg nourish so that'll help you maintain your energy I don't have equilibrium on my build personally because I have other things there but if you want to if you really feel the need to do it it's the options there so the next part of this build we're gonna get into is Baruch's stat stick for the old build, when choosing a stat stick, you'd want to choose something that's long range and can attack really fast. So my stat stick is the Vertilac. You really can have whatever you want as your stat stick. It really doesn't matter with this build. Pretty much all you want to do, though, is 
all three gladiator mods you want to just stack them on the build so you can get as much uh, critical damage on your swing storm as possible and if you didn't know the melee arcane I use on your stat stick will also transfer over to your serene storm so I'm using melee retaliation just so I can get that extra boost in damage based on the amount of shields I have and that's why I'm also using redirection on my Baruch which you'll see the Baruch build in a second so I know y'all horny fucks are waiting just for that so like just, just calm down we'll get there in a second but with that being said the next part we're gonna be looking at is Baruch's exalted melee the desert wind so pretty much it's really nothing crazy it's just a regular melee build minus the condition overload because if you didn't know condition overload actually does not proc on his desert winds it only procs when you're actually straight up punching them like melee it doesn't work with like the actual wind attacks so we just leave it off uh, we did go for a viral heat build because we are not using nourish so we're not getting innate viral in every attack so we're running a viral heat and you know just it's pretty much a regular build apart from that alright and so the next part of this build we're going to be looking at is the brook build itself so as you can see, uh, it's pretty much just like the old one, except instead of the prime continuity, we're switching that up for a stretch, so it synergizes more with Mag's pull ability. But apart from that, uh, so the Aura mod, it's Steel Charge. Uh, you really don't need Steel Charge, honestly. It's probably giving you diminished return since you already have the Melee Retaliation Arcane on your melee. So I would say you could probably switch it out for like something like corrosive projection, reduce the enemy's armor so you're doing more damage. Um, but I, I don't have it on because uh, that would require me putting more form into Baruch, and I already have seven on him. So I'm I'm just lazy, guys. Pretty much, I'm 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 really just lazy. So we got the redirection there. You could probably go primary direction if you have it. We have that there because again, male retaliation. Uh, we got the flow, prime flow. We're using Prime Flow solely for one purpose, and that's because when you're using Purple Shards, it, it uh, doubles the effect of the Purple Shards, so you're just getting a lot more crit damage when you're over 500 uh, energy max. So, and then we got the Reactive Storm. You need the Reactive Storm on, like, every single build you're running. And then apart from that, oh, and Prime uh, Sure-Footed, you really don't need it because everything around you is going to die so but it's always just good to have we get the adaptation there because uh... just to add some extra extra survivability but if you're going into high levels like you're doing steel path runs level cap runs you're up in like the uh... five thousands it's really not going to work anymore so you probably want to exchange it for something like rolling guard and then apart from that if we're getting into the arcanes you want arcane strike and arcane fury but, if you don't have one of those, you can go for Arcane Avenger instead. And if you, you could also use the Aura Mod uh, Combat Discipline to, like, complement it. Because you're not going to be taking too much damage because you have so much damage reduction already. But, other than that, that that's pretty much the build. Alright, so to recap, when you first get in the match, what you're going to want to do is first activate your three, get your knives up. Uh, you see group enemies. Mag pull. Activate your two, sleep them all, blow your restraint down, get your serene storm up, hit them all, and boom, you're at 12 combo count, and you should be set for the entire game. And that's pretty much it. And if you need to uh, get your combo back up, just do it again, pull, and uh, restart the process. Uh, please, DE, don't uh, don't nerf this build, because I really don't feel like making a fifth Brug build. I, so I literally made one, like I think, like two months ago. And then they patched it, so please D, you don't patch this one. I, I hope you don't. But other than that, that's pretty much the video. Um, I am starting to post weekly videos. So tell me if you like this new format of videos I'm doing. Uh, let me know. If there's any improvements to the build that you guys know of, because I'm not a perfect person. I'm not, I don't know the, the meta, I guess. I'm not, bro, it's a good build, trust me. But if there's any suggestions of what I can do better, let me know down in the comments, like, subscribe, and I guess I'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.